One, two, three, four. Say one, two, put the microphone very close to your mouth and say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very nice, good. Now we're going to wait until the GPS receiver here initializes. Press that button, that one, and then press this button. Good. Now we're gonna. I'm going to tune this to the airport weather station. Vanish ground, check eight three four six zero. Mike, check six zero one. Press this button. Check eight three four six zero. Vanish ground, check in use. Ah, this Landing is the weather. Landing runway one six right. Runway one six left. Notice the airman. How do I tighten my headphones? Impact approach is unavailable to, until oh. further notice. Advise on initial contact. You have information uniform. Vanish airport information uniform. Current time one eight five one Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility seven. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature 2.3, dew point 1.3, altimeter 3.001. Isla Zulu approaching use. Landing and departing, runway 16 right, runway 16 left. Notice to airmen, set a coy helicopter route and practice approach is unavailable to, until further notice. Advise on initial contact, give information uniform. Airport information uniform, current time 1851 Zulu, wind calm, visible 7, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 23.13, yeah, altimeter 3001, Isla Zulu approaching use, landing and departing runway. Okay, now I'm going to talk to the ground control. Wait, can, can, idle, can idle make the plane go? Uh, you can let the brakes go. There is idle, it makes it a little bit crawl, okay? Now how do you steer this plane? By right. holding your heels on the ground and pressing on the pedals, but hold on. Let me talk to the ground control. We can't leave the area without talking to them. Okay, and let me adjust our altimeter. Zero, zero, 001. Right about there. Van Nuys Ground, Cessna 61221 at Rotor FX with information uniform. Taxi for takeoff. Cessna 61221, Van Nuys Ground, runway 16 right, taxi via Alpha Charlie. Runway 16 right, taxi via Alpha Charlie 61221. First, we're going to test our brakes, okay? Now, you see that black line running across the road there? Yeah. Right there. Lift your foot up on the pedals, and I'm going to tell you to apply the brakes just before the black line. You're going to nicely apply the brakes to stop us. To see how you're doing. Ready? All right. Uh, apply the brakes right about here. Very good. You look right, you look left. Now, there are two couple of jets there. Now, put your heels on the cabin floor and press your left foot in while you're letting your right foot out. We're going to turn in into the onto that yellow line. Do you see the yellow line? Very good. Now press your right foot a little. And more, a little bit more left foot. Good. Now hold this line between okay, your legs by pressing your left foot and right foot as needed. A little bit, yeah, there we go. Very good. And pull this to your chest. There is a little bump. You want to be Hawk on Alpha, they're going to wait for you. Roger, looking for the Hawker 61221. That's a turboprop. That is a turbojet, and this is a helicopter. Uh, what about the yellow ones? Oh, those are the turboprops. Those are the Canadian Super Scoopers. Yes, turboprops. Hold on. When I ground, we have the Hawker inside. He is far away. We're moving to Charlie. Six one two two one. Roger. Now we're going to go onto this yellow line here. At this place, we notice the runway entrance. Double yes. yellow, solid. You never cross it without permission. So we're going to stop you and check our engine. Okay. Do we close this window? Yeah, right now. In fact, I'm going to pull in. Let me do that for you. Batch it. Now you're going to do a lot of the work here. Wait, what about that? I'll close mine. Is that, that you... jet going to take off? Uh, when he gets the takeoff, you're going to hear it, and he's going to walk around and go there. We're going to tune to the tower frequency. Just hold on, let's finish our engine check out so that we can go. Grab it like this, like you're doing, all the way to the left. Now notice it runs into this, so you may want to hold your knees to the side like this. All the way to your chest. All the way to the right, like this. And all the way in. No, all the way that way. Then level. Now look this way, this way. Do you see the rudder moving? Yes. Okay, good. So rudder is checked. Now this one is elevator trim. It has to be set to this arrow here, right there. See that? It is set. 
Good, now you're gonna grab this throttle, gently move it in until this needle is right at my fingernail. Don't get past it, slowly move it. Should I hold the brakes? Uh, yes, with me. You'll, you'll, yeah. Okay, press the uh, gently push the throttle in, gently. And stop right there, okay, hold on. Stop too much, come back. No, too, do, you're too harsh. Just gently, everything is gentle. There you go, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right about there, hold it right there. Just let go. Yeah, let go right there and let's see where it stands. Okay. I'm gonna check right, this. King Air, five one zero, zero, hold on, don't change. Right. pull back. No. Maybe a little forward, I'm gonna do that right here. Five one zero, 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 I'm sorry, signature west. Your five one zero, zero, correction, your vanish ground, one six five, taxi via Alpha, Charlie, information uniform. Eight current wind calm, altimeter three zero zero zero. Alpha Charlie, five one zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're, okay, now we're going to do our checks right here. Looks like the needle's steady. I'm going to slightly move it to the right position. Is good, our oil temperature is good, our battery is charging, our vacuum is good. I'm going to test our spark plugs. Okay, yeah, you got the message, thanks. Very good. Do we, do we need flaps for takeoff like that one? Yes, 10 degrees of flaps. Ben I'm gonna go him up at Alpha 2, let you go uh, south on Alpha to Suncho West Ramp, please. Suncho West Tug, I have the request standby. I have the request on Alpha, Suncho West Tug, thank you. Suncho West Tug, uh, hold uh, short Very Alpha, good. standby. A little bit more. Center this hey, on the black line. Right about there, perfect. Now take your hands off. Good, we're gonna tune to the tower. You can pull your feet off the pedals. You're going to do the takeoff together, but let me handle the pedal part. That's the delicate part. Okay. Okay, let's check the carburetor heat. Pull this out. Very good. Watch this gauge to rise. It's rising. Now pull this all the way out. Very good. Push this all the way in. Van Nuys Ground, this is Cherokee 33377, uh, off runway 16 right at Golf, requesting taxi back to Encore. Now I'm going to test Cherokee on full time. Van Nuys Ground, taxi Encore via Alpha. Uh, via Alpha. Hold on, that's okay. Uh, full power is alright. Very good. This airplane can be flown with windows open, but don't do it, it just cuts the climb rate of the airplane. Uh, Van Nuys Ground, okay, 734 Echo Sierra, Park Park West, uh, taxi, we have uniform. Now I'm going to ask Be clear. Now yeah, I'm going to talk, talk to him right now. Right, You're going to uh, go to the tower. Charlie, for Echo Sierra. Just keep silent. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna 61221, holding short of runway 16 right at Charlie for straight out departure to the hills, to the Encino Reservoir, and then back. Cessna 61221, Van Nuys Tower, cross runway 16 right, hold short runway 16 left. Cross runway 16 right, hold short runway 16 left, 61221. Van Nuys Tower, King Air 510 Zulu is coming up to 16 right for our release. We're not going to take off this big runway, we're going to take off the next. Cessna 82 Sierra, no delay traffic, the mouth final runway 16 left, cleared for takeoff. Disregard that, clear for takeoff. Expedite runway 16 uh, left, clear for takeoff. Is that 461 221? 221 affirmative, expedite runway 16 left, clear for takeoff, traffic final. Roger, runway 16 left, cleared for takeoff, expediting 61221. Now, take this throttle, push it all the way in, all the way in. Push all the way in, now. Now, 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 all the way in. Now, hands back on this. I'll check on that. Okay, hold the nose, little up. 1.7, 82 Sierra. 
Now, I like this, not too much up, I'll tell you. Now, when that gauge reaches 65, we're going to take off. Now, push the nose down so that it stays. Wait for 65. Is it 65? Now, pull it gently to your chest. Very good. Now, hold them like that. Don't pull it too much so that we can see the mountains. Good. Fly it like this. You're flying good. A little bit to the left. But just like that. Very good. Now, you see that freeway up the mountain? Yes. Yeah, you want to go there. To just point the plane to that and turn. fly it. And up nicely like this. Don't cover the mountains. Okay, with the nose. If you want to fly straight out, I'll call your westbound okay. turn. Roger, fly straight out. You'll call our westbound turn 61221. We'll go way up the hills over Sipple Weather Pass. Eclipse 7 Whiskey Mike, exit high speeds, contact ground point 7. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, play lazy. Uh, this is air turbulence. You always steer to hold the wings level. Wings level means that white line moving is parallel to those pegs. Should I stay level? Level, always level. Just right grip pick off. That means it'll be very good. Always level, very good. How fast should we be going? Uh, we're going at 60 miles an hour, that's good enough. We don't want to go any slower. It is miles per hour and knots. Uh, miles per hour outer gauge and the knots is inside. This airplane is built for miles per hour. That's 405 freeway. And this is Lake Balboa, south of the airport. You can drive here, It's a, you can park free, and you can even rent paddle boats. The paddle boat yeah. on the lake. You know, it's heating up during the day, and so it's shaking, out, shaking us up a little. Does this plane have autopilot? No, all manual. Do the jets have autopilot? Oh yeah, almost all of them do. So 36 Delta, they are going straight out. You can turn left cross and now. Okay, great. Stuff. How high do we climb? 2,700 feet. Delta 221, turn left uh, 10 more degrees. You're drifting towards an IFR departure. Should we put our flaps up? Turning left uh, 10 degrees, 61221. Two, one. Just about the right, right, right time. Turn now, and the traffic will be no factor. Contact SoCal departure. 101 freeway, so east west. Down. Snaking on your side there, that one. Does this indicate how high we are above sea level or above yes. ground? No, sea level. Uh, 1,750 feet. It's like a clock. Small hand thousands. Is uh, there any uh, of ground level altimeters? No. We set our altimeter to these numbers so that the, uh, you have to look for ground and never run into them. I know what you're asking, how are you going to avoid the ground, you and you're asking, right? Like... So you have to know the terrain, you have to climb high enough to uh, miss these mountains. Hey, do the jets have an indicator? Uh, one more time, please, Squawk. Squawk 0275 for 221, resume on navigation, report inbound. 0275, resume on navigation, report inbound, 61221. 36 Delta, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 36 Delta. Havana Tower, Cessna 734, Echo Sierra. We're going to climb up. 16 right for right crosswind departure. Do. Encino Reservoir. Do the jets have an altimeter for the ground level? They do have something called a radar altimeter or laser altimeter, some of them. New ones. Almost all of the new ones. How far can this plane go on a full fuel tank? Uh, they can go about three and a half hours and some reserve. Then you have to have reservists, you know. Yeah, it's okay, hold your hand, no problem, I'm just checking a few things. These are Santa Monica Mountains. The city of Santa Monica is down there in the mist, we can't see, you can usually see downtown LA, but it's all in the mist. We're going to climb up. All the way to 2,500 and some feet before we can turn right over these mountains. We want enough space below us, in case there is turbulence. Very good, you're flying it. Now hold the nose up toward your chest. Doesn't have autopilot, so hold, you'll hold, hold it up like that. Very good. Now we're going to turn right. Not too much tilt because it's turbulent. Not too much tilt. Little, little less tilt. Notice it pulls us down. If you tilt too much, turbulence pulls us down. Wait, how come we're? How come this is turning left? Uh, um. Uh, we're turning right, right? 
How come the wheel is angled left? Wheel? Yeah, like this. Steering wheel. Uh, this is to the right, right? And that's to the left? Don't yeah. you agree? Yeah. Very good. If you hold it at an angle, airplane will go all the way around and it'll go upside down. So when you start the turn, you want to hold it level. Now, that's the Encino Reservoir, Van Nuys Airport, way down there. You see that? Yellow area with a big runway. And Woodland Hills is that way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn all the way around 360 degrees to the left. Okay? There you go, like this. Don't tilt too much because there's turbulence that can pull us down onto the hills. Hold it just like that. You can see the valleys, right? Cold air comes off the valleys, hot air comes from the all these canyons, that is to say. There's downtown LA. Downtown LA is way that way, I'll show you. That's Santa Monica down there. You can see the beach. Oh, okay. yes. 405 freeway. Uh, hold on, we're going to descend a little bit, climbing a little too much. There you go. You can see houses in the canyons. Downtown LA is straight that way, but it's in the mist. We can't see it. Century City. Oh, turbulent. Hold on, let's pull the power back. We're very fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. 100 miles an hour is all right. It can go all the way on the green, 120 miles an hour. What ha have I've heard of overspeeding. What happens if we overspeed? If you overspeed right here, red line for airplane will fall apart in the air. It'll uh, fall. It'll fall apart. The wings will fall apart. It's just too much speed for it to handle. If you're in the green, like we were, like 105 miles an hour, it's not an overspeed. If you're in the yellow, you have to make sure that air is very smooth and there is no turbulence. Like you can't be in the yellow right here. Got it? There you go. Very good. This is how you handle turbulence. You slow down nicely and keep the wings level whenever it tilts you one way. Notice it's trying to tilt us into the mountain. Very good. Alright, we're going to go this way a little, then we're going to turn toward the airport. There's still a lot of line to do. We have to get to the airport, then we land. We're landing already? Ah, oh, no. We have to go all the way back to the airport to land. How can we land here, right? There is nothing to land on. Wait, will I get the steer? Yeah, yeah, you get the steer. Depends on the level of turbulence. You have to know exactly what to do, you see, you don't want to steer unless you know exactly what to do. See the birds? What? Birds down there. Yes. Very good, you don't want to run into those. Now let me call the tower and tell them we're returning to the airport. Van Nuys Tower, System 61221, returning to the airport. So two, two, uh, 61221, make right traffic, runway 16. Make right traffic, runway 16, right, 61221. Now, you see the tower at the airport? Right in the middle, looks like a salt shaker. The airport is right there. Yes. Turn to the tower, and we're going to go straight to the tower, and we're going to descend to 2,000 feet. Very good. Now, when you're pointing to the tower, bring the rings level. Like this, parallel to those pegs. And, yeah, that's a good descent right there. We're going to go straight to the tower, just fly us like that, and pull it a little bit to your chest. Like that. Go and hold it like that. Wings level though. Notice it's tilting level the wings instantly. And pull it to your chest when it drops too much. Uh, 36 Delta is down one of beam. So 36 Delta, 31 6 left, clear for the option, wind calm. Uh, 1 6 left, clear for the option, 36 Delta. Is, is landing the hardest part of a flight? In fact, you have to know exactly what to do. There is nothing to automatically land you, or in come, can come from sideways and push you all over the place, so you have to know how to counter all of those things. Now we're going to go north parallel to that road down there, and pull it to your chest a little, yeah, a little gentle turns because there's turbulence. We're going to stay at 2,000 feet. Oh boy. All sorts of shaky troubles, but no problem, it's just air buoy. We're 
they're going to stay at 2,000 feet. If you hold this white dot on that white line behind, exactly, it's never, neither going to climb nor descend. See whether you can pull that. It's very turbulent, so it's difficult to do that. Go up and down all the time. You can see the yellow planes, right? Delta 221, runway 16 right, clear yes. to land. Runway 16 right, clear to land, 221. Yeah, that's rudder, it's gonna yaw the plane like this, right? What? That's called a yaw motion. If you press the rudder, it's gonna move the airplane like this, right? Alright, we don't want to move it like that, but just now. Wait, am I gonna get to do... Do like... Uh, we'll do, we'll do. Uh, just give me 10 degrees of flaps now. Now uh, we're gonna descend. Means you're gonna hold the nose down like this, not too far down. A little bit to your chest, that's good. Very slowly. A little bit to your chest. You can't let go. If you let go, it's going to go under the ground. Now we're going to go right by this white building this way, and then you're going to give me 20 degrees of flaps. Twenty degrees of flaps now. Very good. Notice it's lifting us up, push the nose down, and we're going to turn right, 90 degrees. I'll call you cross and turn. Not too much, not too, Left not too tilt, because Quebec. there's turbulence that can just take us down. Quebec, you straight out, I'll call you cross and turn. You call my cross and turn, 346 Quebec. 236 Delta, turn their cross and as soon as able for Are we going to come in and touch right? down there? Well, yeah, on, on the big runway. On the big one? Yeah. The little one only for takeoff? No, we can land on the little one. Shall we, should we, do you want to land on the little one? I think we should try the big one. Don't forget to back to the crossman. Turn right first, wait, 34 Quebec. Turn left, crossman, 34 Quebec. When I start, 61 turning final runway 16 right. 221 still clear, runway 16 right, wind calm. Roger, 621. Now we're going to turn toward the big runway. Should I put 30? Uh, not yet. We have to make sure that we get there first. Flaps are going to take us down a little bit faster. Wait a little. Now uh, 30 right now. Very good. Uh, two point. Too much. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're going to go Three, down two, there. Three, one, six, left, little bit this way, then oh, one, six, left, clear, align with the center. There you go. Just align it with the center. And wind calm means doesn't mean there is no turbulence, that's the reason. Now, 40 degrees of flaps, we need to go down, right? Very good. Before go back, number two, fall. All the way down. Mile ahead, report inside. Traffic inside, report inside. Now we're going to nicely go down. Before number two, running one, six left, clear for the option. Clear for just number two, three, uh, one, six left. Down. Nicely down. We want to make sure we get to the runway beginning. And without falling out of air speed, nicely down, down. Now hold the nose little up like that. Hold it up little, just like that. Up, 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 up. There you go. Like that. Very good. Nice brakes. Now hold. Let the brakes go. But very good. So that it doesn't shake because the exit is right there. You have to go to it. Pull it to your chest so that the nose reel doesn't shake. Like that. Now pull the flaps up. Two, two, one, contact ground point seven. 21.7 turning right at golf, 261, There you go, you can open your window, push the button. There you go. Okay, steer this out of the runway first, with your feet, right? Yes. And we're going to go that way. And we're going to stop here. When the tail clears this, I'm going to tell you right about now, apply the brakes. Very good. Nice. Now. Push this button so that I can talk to ground. 
Brand Eyes Ground, Cessna 61221, clear over runway 16 wide at golf. Taxi to rotor effects, please. Cessna 61221, Van Eyes Tower behind the Command C southbound on Alpha, taxi to parking via Alpha. Behind the com Command G, taxi to rotor effects via Alpha, 61221. We have to wait for this Command G. Tell us. Let him pan and always look that way just in case somebody else. Okay, good. Uh, apply a little tro throttle, like about 1200, a little bit more, and let the brakes go and still hold us on the line. By, you know, your heels are on the cabin floor. There you go. There, a little bit more throttle. There you go. Uh, very good. Very good. A little bit more right foot. Right foot. A little bit more. There we go. Now left foot to hold it on the line. It doesn't hold the direction. You have to, you know, a little bit. Everything is a little bit. Once you're on the line, keep it there. Keep the line between your legs. Line, left foot. Left foot. This doesn't do anything. So, uh, and go down a little bit. There we go. Very good. One, two, five. Signature oh, this doesn't do anything. Yeah, only your feet on the ground. You know, most people have car steering reflex. They're used to the steering wheel. Then doesn't do anything. So they get used to it quickly. Third on flight one twenty-five and eyes ground runway one six right taxi via Alpha Charlie and verify again information uniform. One six right Alpha Charlie affirmative uniform. Third on flight one two five. That way, a little bit, yeah, the foot, a little left foot. Now, right what? at the kink here, a little bit left foot, right here. There you go, a little bit, there you go. And right at the kink there, a little bit right foot. Hold it to the leg, left that, wait till the, and a little bit right. Notice how it turns nicely, very good. And those are the super scoopers right here. That's a heli tanker, Ericsson. Look at this way. Wait, what are those two things, those two things under the rotor? Uh, those are the turbo. It's a turbo helicopter, turbojet helicopter, turbines. They look like speakers. We're going to turn left. Press your left foot in to follow the yellow line. Those are the turbine intakes, like the jet engine intakes. Takes the air in there and then turns those big rotors. Okay, we're going to stick to this line here. Uh, don't press it because you're actually crowding the ground control. You're actually transmitting out of the plane. Press that. That's what you pressed to talk to the control? Yeah. They were pressed that one unless you talk to. Now pull this all the way to your chest and press your right foot. We go in between those two sunshades in front of the yellow helicopter. There is a little bump on the taxiway here, and that's why we're pulling this to our chest so that we don't hit the ground with the propeller. So if I push right foot, it goes right? If you press right foot, it goes right. If you press left foot, it goes left. If you stay right on the reflectorized um, central line. Is there any Pilatus turboprop? Around here? Not, I could see. They're us they usually are quite a few. They're oh, there's one in that hangar. Let's see whether they come in. Uh, how are we going to get in is another question. There is a jeep and a red car. There's oh, what? A Pilatus? Pilatus inside the hangar. You're going to... Yeah, there it is. There it is. You see the turbo exhaust there on the side? Yeah. That's a Pilatus. This right here, the big huge one. The blue one. Blue white one. I'm uh, going to have to move something before we can... Right? Oh, there he is. I'll let him park first. Let's come forward. Yeah, he's signaling us. Watch the jeep. Watch your wing on the jeep side. Okay. How is the jeep? Are we clearing that jeep? Yes. Okay. That's 
the wind blowing by your microphone. Now, very good. We're going to stop a little bit more right here. Now we're going to shut the plane down according to the checklist. No, 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 not that way. This is not a car. First set is the one, two, zero, zero. One, two, zero. And okay, then shut this down.